Today, I'm going to show you how to create three crazy mirror bending effects that you may see in something like Doctor Strange. I also made an entire preset pack for Premiere Pro that's drag and drop that includes over a dozen different variations of this effect. The first method, we're basically going to create a mirror effect in the bottom right of this clip. And this method is one that I see a lot over social media. Search up mirror in effects and drag it onto your clip and then change your reflection angle to 45. And you'll see in the bottom right corner, it begins to bend. And you'll see this a little bit more apparent if you move the reflection center more towards the left. The closer you move the reflection center to the left, the stronger this effect is. So you might need to scale in and change the position as well if you do choose to do that. The next variation of this is where we basically bend it upwards. So think about having two reflective walls on the left and right. For this variation, you want two mirror effects applied to your clip. The first mirror you want to set to negative 45. And so you can see here, we're creating a wall upwards. And because you can't really see it, you want to move it towards the left. So the exact number for this is 1380. And now we want to do the same thing with the left side. So if you slowly increase the reflection angle, it begins to reflect on the left side now. But the issue now is that there's a big black screen. So you want to change the reflection center as well. So you want to decrease this reflection center until we have no black background anymore. And so the exact number you want is 540. And you can see if we want another wall upwards, we actually have to keep going up. So the exact number for this is 225. And to do the same thing, but with the walls facing downwards, it's very similar. So this time, instead of negative 45 as a reflection angle, we're going to go for 45, which should do the opposite and basically bend down this bottom corner instead of the top corner we also want it closer to the middle so we're going to type in the same number which is 1380 and so we're done for the right side and so for the left side to bend it down we're going to do the exact opposite so once again we're going to make sure the mirror is on the left side so around 135 it's perfectly square so now we just want to decrease this reflection center until it fits the entire screen and so around 540 is when it fits the entire screen so we end up with something like this. That's about it for this video. If you guys want to check out a very similar tutorial to this, you can check out my Parallax World tutorial. They'll be in the end screen. If you guys are watching and don't have Premiere Pro, you can actually check the link in the description for over 60% off all the Adobe applications if you're a student or teacher.